Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-February 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs, or you can get a personal reading if you want to get more specific details for your situation. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And let's see, what is going on with Cancer mid-February? This is Mannix, by the way, on the desk. And yeah, he will probably depart soon to give us some space here. Let's see, Cancer mid-February, what is the major theme? All right, we have eternal love, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. All right, wow, that is a very positive card to start off your reading. So it feels like I, I'm actually getting self-love with this. It could be also with another person, for sure. But I feel like this is like a new kind of an energy for you that you're feeling something new when it comes to... All right, there goes your card. When it comes to um, the love that you feel for yourself and finding your own happiness. Give me one sec. All right, I'm just going to leave that here. Otherwise, I think Mannix is just going to throw it off again. All right, so let's get into the details and see. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February, what is going on in love? All right, so for your energy, we have the King of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. All right. <clears throat> So actually what I'm getting here, I feel like this is you having found some confidence within yourself. This Three of Cups, it could be a reconciliation with someone, but it's mostly coming through to me as you just really feeling um, light and feeling like you are finally in this place of um, high vibration coming out of a very stressful phase or a very stressful period in your life, I really feel like this Nine of Swords is an energy that you are coming out of rather than an energy that you are currently in. It could be that once in a while, you know, you might um, have a little taste of that anxiety, of that stress, of what it is that you are um, coming out of. But I feel like for the most part, you're standing really strong within your own self. Like I said in the beginning, have you found like a new sense of self-love? Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's see for your person. For your person, we have Justice, we have the Four of Swords, and we have the Ten of Wands. Alright, so this is somebody who, um, I feel like whatever happened between the two of you, I feel like this person wants to make things right. So they may have treated you unfairly. I'm also picking up on that. There may have been some kind of treatment that um, just didn't feel right to you. We'll see more when we clarify. And they want to come back and fix this. I do feel like there might be a separation here. And that could be what, <clears throat> what you are coming out of. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a separation. But there was definitely a very difficult um, phase that you went through. All right, when it comes to love or... It may be even something else. So this person's trying to come back and fix things. However, it could be that they're finding it a little bit challenging, or they feel like <clears throat> they feel like they're carrying this burden, possibly some responsibility of something that happened, the way things went down, and almost as if they don't know how to release that. But we'll see when we clarify. <clears throat> For the near future, we have the Knight of Wands. The Palace of Cups and Death and for a message for you here is Temperance. <clears throat> Alright, Cancer. Yeah, I really feel like this person is coming back in. 
if they're not in your life at the moment or if there has been some kind of a fallout, I feel they're coming back. Trying to come after this love with you. But I'm not sure if you are going to, to want it back or not. Let's see. So let's clarify the six of wands, the huh, six of wands, king of wands. But I said six of wands, so I do feel like you're feeling very um, in control right now of your own self and of the situation. Let's see, king of wands. We have the hanging man. Yeah, it's you know what? I really feel like this is something new for you. This is like a new energy that you're in, or you're just now beginning to feel this confidence about yourself because it's like you're seeing things from a different perspective than you had in the past and I feel like this was something that you may have been involved in or you may have been in this nine of swords energy for a very long time let's see the three of cups <clears throat> all right the sun and strength yeah, this is really coming through as, it, as, as if it's for your own self, most, mostly. Again, for some of you, it could be a little bit of a reconciliation with somebody, and that could be maybe somebody else, and this could be why you're feeling um, so great at the moment. But for most of you, I feel like you are just, you just feel like you're shining. You feel like you're vibrating high, it's like you feel like you are following your own truth and you are standing really, really strong in your power here with the strength card. So again, I feel like you have overcome the hardest part of whatever it is that you have gone through. And it's like you're ready now to go out and be social. Um, <clears throat> or even if, it, if this is an energy within a connection... All right, because that could definitely be the case as well. All right, take the messages as they resonate. Everybody's situation is going to be different. All right, I'm getting that for most of you, this is coming out of a difficult situation and pulling away. All right, for others of you, however, it could be that within a connection, there may have been something you were stalling in or there or something that was causing you a lot of um, stress within the connection and you have now been able to resolve that and you are able to be in an energy with this person that is a lot more happy, it's a lot more carefree and you are standing strong in that sense or having the courage to face a fear that you may have had in this relationship, okay? So take it as it makes sense. <clears throat> Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. chariot yeah so you have moved away from that stressful energy you have it's like you took the wheel in your hands of the car right and just turned in a new direction in the way that you want to go and I love how we have um, temperance here's the message for you and, and it's like this woman here driving the chariot she's like looking towards temperance which is all about balance and healing and so I feel like you're moving away from that Nine of Swords energy and moving towards that healing. There's a new direction here that you're taking. All right, let's see what is going on with your person. Let's clarify justice. Oh, and we have the devil. Yeah, okay, so this person... <clears throat> and also don't forget that the roles can be reversed. All right, there was definitely something that this person was um, involving themselves in that was toxic, all right? Could be anything. It could be the way they were treating you. That is what is um, coming to me more so than anything else. Or there was a fear, or this person was attached to something, okay, in a toxic way. But mostly I'm getting that this person was treating you in a way that was not fair, all right, um, it could have been anything. It could have been that they cheated on you. It could have been that they had another relationship um, ongoing. 
maybe even from before. It could be an addiction. It could just be that they were being selfish and not wanting to give to you as much as they were receiving. Okay? It literally could be anything here. Let me get one more. So a little more information here. The Five of Wands. All right, so for some of you, it could have involved other people, for sure. Um, like, maybe they were giving more attention to other aspects of their lives, um, like their work, their family, um, but in a way where it wasn't fair to you, okay, because we have the devil here. Whatever the case, this caused a lot of, a lot of conflict. Let's see the Four of Swords. Yeah, Six of Cups. Yeah, so this person wants to come back in. They want to heal this. And I feel like they, there is something that they're doing here where they are healing this uh, devil's energy, whatever that was. And they're doing that because they also want to reconcile with you. All right, the Six of Cups. Um, they want to be with you. They, they're thinking about you a lot and reminiscing. Let me see the Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups. <clears throat> it feels like this person feels like they ruined something that was a beautiful thing, this Ten of Cups. Um, it could be that for some of them they had... Like they may have, they may have felt a, a huge sense of responsibility or they felt too pressured within this connection. Like they felt like they had to live up to some kind of um, a standard in order to keep you happy and that may have caused fear in them. All right, which could also be the devil's energy. All right, it, it's going to be different again for all of you. I feel like this, this time around is just tapping into like so many different types of situations. Let me get one more. The Queen of Swords. All right, and for some of you, it could definitely be that there was some um, unfaithfulness, some infidelity, possibly there was somebody else here involved, all right, with this Queen of Swords, possibly. Um, and so they feel like they ruined, they ruined this connection that you had. And I feel like this is weighing really, really heavy on them, which is why they want to come back and, and fix things. But of course, it is up to you what you what you want to do. Everybody's connection is different. Of course, if this person was abusive, you know, you never want to go back to something like that. All right, you can make your own discernment here. Let's, let's see what's coming up. Let's see this Knight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so this person is going to come back in. All right, they're going to come back in wanting, wanting to be faithful, wanting a commitment. Does that mean that they really will be? I don't know. I can't tell you that. So again, it's going to completely be up to you to make this discernment. All right, this isn't the case that there was some kind of um, unfaithfulness here. It doesn't have to be that, all right? For those of you where that's not the case, I still see this person coming in, wanting to make things right, wanting this commitment, wanting things to be stable, all right? For some of them, it could have been a fear, a fear of a commitment. Let me see the Palace of Cups. The Magician. I, this person's going to try hard. I feel like this person's going to try hard to bring this love back, back together. Almost like they're, they're just going to do whatever they can to try to manifest this, to try to manifest you back into, back into their lives. I mean, seeing this Knight of, with the Knight of Wands being the main energy here, I'm not 100% convinced that this person is going to be ready, all right? Um, not 100% ready, at least. Because I'm seeing you as this king of wands here. I know you're a water sign, but this is just the energy. 
I'm seeing you as this king of wands, standing really strong in your power, you know, being mature, and then they're coming in as this knight of wands. Alright, so, um, and the knight of wands can oftentimes be a little bit inconsistent. So it's interesting that we have the ten of pentacles, which is a more solid, consistent, and long-term energy clarifying the knight of wands. So, yeah, it might look like this ten of pentacles, but I feel like... I don't know. Well, let's see. Let me get one more for this Palace of Cups. We have the Magician. Let me get one more. The King of Cups. All right. Well, at least we have a king here. All right. So this person is going to be serious about, about their emotions, okay? I can get, tell you that. Their emotions are in the right place. There is love here. There is feelings. There are emotions that this person holds for you. And they want to bring these emotions back to, to a balance. All right. Um, let's see that. Because this could also represent a transformation, but I can't, I can't stress enough the, the fact that this is a choice that you're going to have to make using your own discernment. All right. Two of Wands. This is going to be a choice for you. Um, I feel like for the most part, because we also have the Hermit here, we have the Hermit and the Two of Wands clarifying death. I feel like you, you have transformed. I feel like that's what this death is representing. I feel like you have transformed. You might not want to take this person back. Um... It feels like you're just going to kind of be like, you know what, I have found myself. I feel like I am on a new spiritual path here or just this new path towards happiness and just really connecting with my own self that you might not even make a choice. You might just be like, I don't know, we'll see. Like that's the, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. And because of that, it's like there's a change. There's a transformation within this connection. I almost feel like with this two of wands that it's kind of like a to be continued <laughs> kind of an energy like I don't know for some of you this might not be the end of it it might just be a pause for now and then for others of you it might be completely done either way what I'm getting here and it's funny that I said that it's going to be your choice and that you're gonna have to make that discernment before the two of wands popped out Alright, so let's clarify the last card as your message, which is Temperance, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So you are really, what I'm getting here is that what is the most important thing for you right now is that you are planting your own seeds for your own success, for your own healing, and bringing your own self into balance. Okay, so I feel like by doing that, the answers will come to you if they haven't already, as to what to do about this connection, okay? The more you balance yourself and the more you keep investing in your own well-being, the better that things will be for you, all right? And if this is a person that you are, that you are meant to be with, you will know. And you will know because you will be coming from a very balanced and healed place, you won't be coming from this Nine of Swords energy anymore. There's not going to be an attachment, which means that you will be able to see things clearly and know whether this is something that you deserve to have in, in your life or not. All right, Cancer. So let's see what your final card is, if this resonated. And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see, final card. Ooh, happy, happy. You're going to be happy. You're entering a new phase in your life, Cancer, that is just going to bring you so much abundance and happiness. 
All right, I love how we started off with such a positive card and we're finishing off with a very positive card as well. Like so similar. This actually says happiness and this is happy, happy. So you are moving in that direction. Just keep following your intuition, finding your balance and focusing on your healing and everything's gonna um, pretty much come together in the way that it should. All right, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.